What's up, guys? What's up, guys? All right, guys. So Yo, what's up, guys? What's up, you guys? What? Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the VZ Build channel. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Feasy Build channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and get the notification so you can see what's going on because we got a lot of going on. And if you're OG, welcome back. So, in the last video, um, we painted the interior of the car and it's perfect because I still have it taped off and that's going to work out really well for what we're doing next. We got our B16 cylinder head here. This is the cylinder head that we used last season. Um, it's pretty well clipped. It's got. Uh, equipped my bad um, it's got less than 40 miles on it right so I don't really see and it performed well it didn't bend a valve nothing like that I don't really see, see the need to go back through it but I am gonna clean everything up and visually check it out and that's what we're gonna be doing today so quick recap for those of you that don't know this is my b16 cylinder head yes it is not stock this was a recasted non OEM B16 cylinder head that I got bare with the cam caps um, so I put all my own stuff in it it's got stock rocker arms and uh, the rocker barn assembly and stuff from another toasted GSR head but um, other than that it's got skunk 2 tuner 1 cams skunk 2 alpha series dual valve springs titanium retainers skunk 2 LMA deletes um, Ferrera 6000 series dish valves or 600 series, I can't remember, it's been a long time. Supertech seals, um, a Skunk 2 Pro intake manifold, 70 millimeter throttle body. The, in, the head's been fully ported, everything by me performs very well. Um, I've never had an issue with it, it flows right. So this is the cylinder head we're gonna be using. So today, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna pull all the basic stuff, the valve cover, the intake manifold, the distributor, the cams out, um, the studs, the VTEC solenoid, and individually clean each item and mainly go through the, the core of the cylinder head, the springs, all that shit, and make sure the combustion chambers and everything's nice. But I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like when it's cleaned up. A lot of you guys don't know unless you follow me on Instagram, but these ports are beautiful. They are dirty right now, but we're gonna get those cleaned up. Um, the reason being we need to rush and get this done. We have the block almost fully assembled. I'm gonna go through and do a video of you know, finalizing that, getting that over here. Hopefully we get our twin disc and we have another big part and purchase that we made and tools that we had to buy to do all this. But I'm gonna go ahead and just spoil it right now. I did buy a 10 point Rhodes race case. Keep it chill, Luther. Go against every natural instinct in your body. Or roll cage for the car. Um, it is a little bit in depth for me, right? So I was going to MIG it. I'd done plenty of gas MIGing in my life, but I have to do all the boost piping and all this aluminum welding and everything. So I went ahead and I bought a new Vulcan 205 Pro TIG, which I'll be showing you guys later on in the video. And I got all the whole setup, which was pretty costly guys i'm not gonna lie but i'm stoked on it i'm super excited to make this progress that's why we painted the inside of the car if you haven't watched that video make sure to go back and watch it so you can keep up with what's going on right so we, we are going to be going back over the interior of their car with some new paint but we're going to wait until we get the cage all you know welded in because it would just be pointless but we got a good base coat on everything that's the reason I didn't do a final coat and I just kind of left you. I was waiting for somebody to talk crap in the comments, but nobody did because we got cool subscribers. So um, I'm pretty stoked on all that. I'm going to go ahead, put you guys on time lapse like I always do, record breaking this guy down and show you what we're working with. So.
head all cleaned up. I think it's in you know perfect condition. I don't see anything wrong. I checked the deck. The deck, the deck is flat in every corner. Um, there is like a little nub next to one of my combustion chambers that I'm not 100% sure because it's been so long. Um, I can't really remember if it was an issue, but I did measure it out. It's hard, it's hard to even find. It's one of those things, but I did measure it out and my new bar is 82 millimeters, so it shouldn't be an issue. Uh, the fire ring should seal up around it. So now that I've gotten this thing all cleaned up, here, I'm going to flip it over and show you guys a little bit. So now that I've got it cleaned up and I've got oh, all the rocker assembly, everything is nice and clean. Um, clearly these are steel so they will have to be lubricated again so I'll just be using WD-40 and putting it in a bag. But to ensure that the cylinder head is just good to go, you know, what we're going to have to do is we're going to bring it over here to the table, right? We're gonna fill each one of these ports with parts cleaner. You could do this with gasoline, you could do it with water. Uh, parts cleaner is really, really thin. It's, it's a fuel, right? So it's pretty much acetone. So what's gonna happen is once these are filled, if there's a leak around any one of these valve seals or uh, seats, it's gonna start drop, little droplets are gonna come through it. So now all I'm gonna do is fill that up let it sit for about 15 minutes and then I'll be picking back up with you guys. All right guys, so after filling these bowls with the little uh, gum out here, some brake, part cleaner, whatever, that's gonna be a lot thinner than gasoline, E85. I mean, that's pretty much like methanol because it's alcohol, it's a very high flash rate. So <clears throat> after sitting for about 20 minutes, you can see we have a little tiny drip there. You know, pretty much every one of these has a very miscule. It's not running, there's not, but we haven't lost a bunch out of the bowl. To me, in my uh, perception of things, that is perfectly fine. I, you know, if I were to go ahead and lap these valves in, I might actually damage the seat more than help it. If I wanted it any better, in my opinion, I would just go have them recut. But I know in my application that it's gonna be perfectly fine. We've already done the exhaust side. There was absolutely zero leaks, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense. The exhaust side usually takes most of the brunt. But um, as you guys can see here, we're pretty much port matched almost perfectly. There's a couple areas <clears throat> that could be touched up, but you know, I think that's fine. I'm not gonna cry about it. Get off me cord. Dang it. <clears throat> but for, for this video, I think that's gonna be it, guys. I, all my cameras are dead. I haven't been home for the last three days. I've been helping my pops out, do a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray some WD-40 on this rocker assembly and wrap it up in a bag and call it a night. Um, for all of the cam caps and everything, these are aluminum guys. So I'm just gonna take them home and wash them in some hot uh, Dawn dish soap and use a toothbrush to clean them up. No need to worry about rusting or anything like that or wasting a bunch of parts cleaner. That's, they clean up perfect with just some Dawn dish soap. Same thing for the rails. And uh, the cams are already in pretty good shape. We're just gonna leave them until we need to use them. Then we'll clean them off with some parts cleaner, re-lubricate them, throw them in the motor and call it a day. We're one step closer. I know it just seems like it's taking forever. I'm sorry that we don't have, you know, the consistent uploads that we did, but we don't have a whole lot going on. So I'm just giving you guys what we got that's interesting while we have it. So, um, you know, we got, the action clutch is coming, but it's still being made. So until action clutch gets that all done, we really can't get the motor in the car and start doing anything else. But we did order all the intercooler piping, the exhaust, all that stuff. I got the, the TIG welder. I might throw a clip in right here or that. I'm not sure. It all depends. But um, I did throw down some beads the other day. And surprisingly, I'm kind of a natural. So I think that's going to head in the right direction. Should be able to do the rest of my own fabrication work. Super stoked on that. So if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see Turbo and a Honda in one day, and not this one, but another one of mine, give it a like, give it a share, and we'll make this happen. So pick back up with you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>